The square boxy automobiles of the early 1920 era were changing. The 1930s gave way to lower bodies with rounded corners, skirted fenders, wire wheels, and art deco styling. The toy designers from the major toy companies took note and designed some of the nicest art deco designs in velocipedes, or as we know them today, tricycles. The first velocipede I bought was the American National, and it was in pieces, missing some parts. Uh, had that, I guess I actually brought that home from the city dump when I was a teenager. The red one is a Hedstrom, made by the Hedstrom Company, and they are still in business today. It's an extremely rare to see in the three fender design their rear fenders are so fragile. They're all exactly the way the sales literature showed them. We kind of matched the paint from the sales literature. The striping and the little white teardrops uh, are all exactly where they should be. The next one is probably the rarest of them all. It was only made in 1934. It was made by the Colson Company. Uh, it's a Mickey Mouse, as you notice, the feet are the foot is on the pedal and the foot actually when the pedal turns the foot goes around and uh, this is a survivor trike it took a lot of cleaning but it's it's absolutely a hundred percent original it's never been restored this tricycle was purchased on an estate auction in pennsylvania from the original owner a number of years ago it has a neat license plate on the back it says MMA1 Mickey Mouse A1 and most of the time it's the only license plate I guess that I know of. The next tricycle the red one uh, over in the corner uh, is probably the most common Art Deco three fendered tricycle. Um, they were made in quite large numbers. This is made by the Junior Toy Company Hammond Indiana. That one has a light with a light switch in the uh, handlebar. It has a green and a red landing lights on the side. The next one, the green tricycle, is made by Steelcraft. That is probably one of the best made, heaviest, uh, and most one of the most rare. Uh, it has white rubber tires like the blue tricycle. I bought the rubber from an old bicycle tricycle shop in Texas, new old stock. Very, very hard to find that white rubber. Uh, very well made. Uh, it has a headlight and side lights. Uh, just a very, very well made, uh, interesting tricycle. And again, there again, the green on paint on the tricycle is uh, completely uh, from the factory. Tricycle in the center, the maroon and, and the ivory is probably one of the rarest. I don't know of another 16 inch that is complete with all the parts. It has one unique feature. It has blow up tires uh, and the tires, I was able to find some new old stock tires. The seat the too is a very, it's a very fancy tricycle. It has bat wings on the fenders and that uh, is, people call it the Batwing. I think it's probably the only set of six, one of every major manufacturer with the Mickey that you will probably find in one spot. They are just so hard to come by and so hard to find parts. It's kind of nice to share it with the public.